Okay, so uh, this is RDT3 for Jason Banks and Ryan Cummings. Um, I'm going to go through this really fast. So um, as you can see in the code here, basically the only difference for between 2-1 uh, is that we have these timeout variables. Um, uh, so we got timeout, timeout, which is just time and times. This is where we kind of create the timer. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. We've got this while loop now um, instead of just basically listening until this is received. It also has this if statement where basically it's checking timeout um, plus one. We just have one second wait time here um, is less than or equal to time time. Uh, this timer variable, essentially, uh, if it reaches this while it's listening, it'll time out. Um, that's kind of, you know, making sure if there's packet loss, it'll it'll account for that. Um, so if it's reached this, it'll set this timeout variable, um, which we have instantiated up here, uh, which is normally a zero to one. Um, so it's like true false, so it's like a Boolean zero um, or one. And then uh, just a print statement making, showing that it kind of, it timed out. Um, and then we break out of this inner while loop <clears throat> as a result. <clears throat> uh, here we have, this is where we're receiving the data and we'll break us out naturally from this while loop if this is filled um, with any data. Um, so that's kind of how we're accounting for the timer, or the timeout variable. Uh, this if statement here basically saying, okay, if it didn't time out, so zero, which means it didn't time out, um, then you can kind of assess further. If it did time out, so it's a one here, um, it'll start over the whole thing reset. Um, essentially. From here, it's pretty similar um, to uh, RDT 2.1 in a lot of regards. Um, so it is accounting for packet corruption here uh, as well. Um, so this if statement, if it's corrupt, uh, or sorry, if it's not corrupt, essentially this equals equals false, um, then you can assess further. Um, this is checking to make sure that the sequence number isn't behind. Um, so that's all this is doing here, um, sending acknowledgments accordingly. Um, this is uh, essentially just showing, okay, so if this is all good and we were successful, break out of this whole loop and we can move on to the next thing, essentially. And I actually increment the sequence number a little early on um, for the while loop, um, so that's why I'm not doing it here. Uh, this is just so we know that uh, it did have to send a NAC, essentially, um, because the sequence number is kind of messed up. Um, yep. So this is our receive part of it. This all is very similar to his RDT1, so I won't go into that. Uh, this is where we're checking for packet corruption. Again, part of what he needs for our grading. Um, this is sending our NAC. Um, and again, part of the grading as well, uh, so we don't get like duplicates and stuff like that. Um, and we just kind of discard that data. Um, and so let's see here. So this is where, yeah. Um, create packet buffer string string. Um, this is just showing um, this is an ACK or a NAC. Yeah, don't delve further. This else statement saying it's not an ACK or a NAC, so you can start looking into okay, do we have the right sequence number? If we do uh, or don't, you know, here's an acknowledgement. Um, here's another acknowledgement. If we have um, the correct sequence number, essentially. And um, this is where we iterate up the sequence number so we can make sure that's on point, um, basically, because this is, once we get to this point, we're like, okay, we're good. Uh, this data is correct. Um, this is return message. Um, this is kind of what we want out of it. This is removing um, the bytes, packet bytes from the buffer so that we uh, don't have um, a build up there and we can check again for the next data. Um, all right, and let's go ahead and run it really quickly so that you can see that I am not full of it. Uh, let's get our server going. Let's get our client going. Okay. And you can see it's kind of taking some time in a few cases. Um, you can see this timed out and so it resent. Um, we see that there is a NAC sent um, from our receiver. Um, we see some acknowledgments that are also uh, sent as well, um, but it looks like we have all of our uh, printouts that we wanted um, in Pig Latin. So, and you can see that there, you know, there's a timeout there as well. Um, so, and just to prove that we are actually, in fact, handling, uh, we have these values all set to 10% just for our sanity right now. Um, so packet loss, corruption, and reordering. 
Uh, yep, that should be everything.